Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a pick a card reading, um, messages from your loved ones in heaven. So we can do it a um, couple different ways. You can do numerology, if you are a one, five, or a seven, if you are a two, four, or an eight, or if you are a three, six, nine, you can pick according to your numerology. Or if you just are drawn to number one, number two, or number three, or if you're drawn to Amethyst, Larimar, or Rhodonite, feel free to pick. Uh, take three deep breaths in. We ask that our loved ones come through for a message for us. If you are guided to pick, guided to pick more than one, feel free to pick more than one deck of cards. If you're guided to pick all three, feel free to pick all three. Let's see what comes through. Okay, we are going to start with um, Amethyst, number one, five, and seven. And we're gonna do, also do a song as well. So, oh, actually, I'm just gonna leave it there. And I'm gonna, actually, no, I'm gonna move them out of the way. <clears throat> picked one five and seven let's do your song heart of life by John Mayer so if you picked one five and seven this is for you so if you are a one life path or five if you've got any of these numbers in your chart this is a message for you. So if you are a one life path or destiny, five destiny or a seven destiny or a soul, this is messages for you. I see all of your thoughts. Now, I got this deck some time ago and before I started developing my telepathy, I didn't understand what that meant. Um, but now I do. And um, so what this card is saying, it's a, once we, once we actually get into that fifth dimensional energy and we are beyond our bodies here on earth, we're able to transcend time and space. We're able to have this sort of telepathy so they can see all our thoughts. And there is no judgment. There is no, um, disgust or or anything like that or anything that you think is silly like oh my god is he watching me masturbate <laughs> type of situation um it's not it's not like that they don't they don't see anything um in a sense of they don't see it as judge they don't see it they don't judge it it's neutral um and they're asking you you know if you're having a hard time accepting it you know you're really hurting you're having a hard time with this this is 11. It's a, you know, it's a twin flame number, but it's also the number of manifestation and, and being in, in love, peace and harmony and loving, you know, when we help others, we help ourselves. You know, sometimes when we're hurting, it's, a, it's asking you to reach out to somebody else who's gone through something similar. You know, you, you heal by coming together with others that have gone through a similar journey, similar aspect. Okay, so... Let's go with, I see all your thoughts. I can now hear your thoughts and feelings so much more clearly than when I was living in my physical body. Back then, I was consumed with my own ego thoughts and distracted by my fears. Now that I'm free of those shackles, I can focus upon giving and loving. So whenever you'd like to talk, I can clearly hear you. Just think my name and then trust the thoughts and feelings that you receive from me. Those are my communications with you. I totally respect your free will and would never impose my own will onto you. I only want what is best for you. So please know that I am here when you wish to talk. I love you. That's beautiful. Always. Um, I, you know, I, I'm going through this, um, 
this experience, you know, I lost my boyfriend uh, three years ago to an accident and um, I hadn't talked to him and you know, I, I get messages here and there. I, I feel him here, you know, I sense him here. He sends me signs, messages, um, but I never, uh, for a long time I hadn't actually sat down to talk to him. Um, and I was going through a really difficult time this week and I just really sat down. I put a photo of him up because all, all his photos are put away. I put a photo of him up and I talked to him. And it was an, I, I felt a real conversation even though I couldn't uh, physically hear, I could feel because that's how my intuition is. Um, I, I sometimes hear little things here and there, um, but I'm very feel, I, I'm uh, clairsentient, so I feel. And uh, a lot of you guys out there are, are clairsentient. If you are an empath, you're definitely clairsentient. You feel other people's feelings and emotions. That's a form of telepathy. They're trying to communicate with you in that way. So I suggest that they want you to put their photo out and look at it and really, you know, light a candle for them and talk to them. Really connect to that energy, that hide energy. And we want to talk to them without grief, without sadness. We want to talk in gratitude. This is how we get over grief, with gratitude. Because instead of being sad that they're gone, we're grateful that we actually got to spend time with them here on Earth. We're grateful that we had them in our lives. We're grateful that we had these experiences. We're grateful. So we want to convert the guilt into gratitude. We want to shift the vibration from a lower uh, grief, uh, victimization, sadness to gratitude and love and appreciation for the time spent. Okay, so now we're going to uh, go on to acceptance. Right now, your soul is learning acceptance. This may force you to feel out of control in a situation or with another person in your life. Just realize that the universe has given you this incredible opportunity to release control. Perhaps doing so will help you realize that there is a rhythm, a rhyme, or reason to everything in life. Rather than thinking that these are accidents that are occurring, refer to these conditions as moments of divine design. Maybe it is a person or situation that you do not agree with right now. For the moment, instead of having a knee-jerk reaction based on an emotional response, stop, step back, and observe, and make an attempt to understand both sides of the equation, which is an incredible gift for you to practice tolerance, grace, and patience. Realize that although you have come to accept a situation or condition, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are condoning a behavior or that you support it. You see it for what it is and recognize that there is something rich to learn from it. So it's asking you to, you know, sometimes when people pass away, we, we have a lot of uh, drama or, you know, problems with family, you know, because everybody thinks that everybody should grieve a certain way. And everybody has their own, it's, has their own way of grieving. You know, not everybody grieves the same. Everybody grieves differently. And, you know, when we realize that, that's when our world changes. We're able to accept another's journey. We're able to uh, accept another's experience without judging it. Okay, so moving on to number 29. If you picked this, here we go. It says, got an owie? I hope you can hear Bob Marley singing in the distance because despite what appears to be a physical blip right now, every little thing's gonna be all right. This is a time of sweet, sweet healing, a time of renewal. Take a step back, put your feet up and soak in the restorative power of the universe. Yes, um, I'm getting a message here uh, for whoever this is for that we are relying on others to heal us. Um, by having others around, it's restricting, it's not restricting our healing, but it's allowing us not to fully heal because by having others around, we're happy. Oh, we're okay, they're around us and we're happy and everything's great, but when they leave, that sadness is gonna return. So it's really asking you to focus on your own inner healing and your own you know, uh, work. Really listen to that Bob Marley song. Um, and J the John Mayer song, The Heart of Life, it talks, of, it, it is about losing somebody. Um, and it has such a beautiful synchronicity that it came through. It talks about losing somebody and, and, and depression and sadness that comes along with it and, and ex embracing you know, having your friends around to show you the silver lining, that there is, there is better things. So yes, it's great, have our friends around. Um, but also be okay with being alone with your thoughts and your grief and, tra and transmuting it into something beautiful. So, 
Um, <clears throat> and I will put uh, the song description or lyrics down below so you guys can read through that if you'd like. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna be moving on to two, four, and eight. So thank you to everybody who picked number one, five, and seven. I hope that resonated with you. Moving on to two, four, and eight. Narimar. Let's get to your song. Sorry, there's um commercial. <laughs> Sub focus tidal wave. Your waves wash over like a tidal wave. Feel the influx as we collide. These games that we play, we're fooling nobody. Does it make you feel good when you're hurting somebody? And sometimes when we're grieving or we're going through a process, um, we hurt others without realizing it. So, your love washes over like a tidal wave. So, uh, I'm guessing that this song has to do with water, tidal waves, beaches, healing water. All right. My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to guilt. Tidal wave. Your love washes over like a tidal wave. Okay. Um, sorry. Thank you for being patient. I've been having a... Uh, a lot of heart chakra activity today, so it's interesting. My death was painless. My death was painless. Please don't worry or hold on to guilt. As souls, we do not feel physical death. I remember that within the blink of an eye, I was outside my body looking down at it. I immediately felt an intense sense of happiness and peace. It was indescribable, yet I wanted to tell everyone. I was also able to see the thoughts you created and carry with you in your mind. We are pure energy vibrations of light. Please know that your thoughts of guilt and worry block our light. They don't serve either of us well and create unnecessary debris. Know that, uh, unnecessary debris. Know that I am happy and that a soul can never be harmed. Oh, okay, so the first, if you, if you watch the first reading, you might, if you got this one, you might wanna watch the first one as well. It talks about telepathy within the spirit realm. And um, this one also talks about it. It talks about, you know, don't hold on to the guilt. Um, understand that every mistake, you know, is an opportunity to learn. So I'm, I'm guessing this was an accident. This had to do with an accident. And it was a mistake. There was a mistake made. Right side up. <clears throat> almost interesting right side up so water so this is it almost i don't know why i'm loss of breath um drowning you know when you float sometimes people float face down or right side up but i'm not getting that i'm getting this right side up as a seeing things from a different perspective versus holding on to the guilt it's asking you to look deeper Okay, so yeah, moving on to um, failure. Life on earth is full of experiences. It is our human brain that views outcomes as good or bad. The soul simply views them as chances to grow. Learn to see the big picture of life instead of the minute. Failure to accomplish a task is merely the opportunity to evolve and the negative connotation of the word failure can prevent you from trying again. You must come to the realization that there is no judgment involved with your soul's lessons. Realize that what you view as a failure is just your soul telling you that there is another path. Embrace the maximum. Embrace the maximum. When one door closes, another one opens. It is time for you to stop any negative, any negative emotional investment you have in the outcome. Revel in the knowingness that everything will reveal itself when it is meant to. No matter what, be true to your dream and creative process. So I'm almost getting the, the feeling that there's, there still needs to be more answers. 
that the full truth has not been revealed and to let that go the knowing wanting to know everything let it go it'll be revealed be patient okay and number one a new beginning so I'm also getting uh, somebody wanting to start over whether they lost a love um, but wanting to just start again and almost feeling that they're gonna fail <sighs> nothing is gonna compare it is now safe to unbuckle your seatbelt it doesn't matter how it looks you're on the right path unseen forces are working behind the scenes smoothing out the bumps riding all the injustices any apparent blip is nothing but a reminder to pay attention to say thank you. The scales are tipping in your favor. Everything is coming back into balance. It's time to trust that what goes down must come up. Yes. Yes. It's time. It is time. And it's asking you to communicate. Uh, the last card also uh, was talking about communicate with them. Talk to them. Um, yeah, communicate with them talk with them they'll send you the signs they'll send you the synchronicities you will know in your heart the truth of all the things um they are okay with you moving on they are okay with you you know they're sending you people in your life that are helping you and you're pushing them away they sent you people and you push them away for some sort of fear but it's asking you to communicate communicate you know, this is the circle of life. This happens. We all go. Death was not painless. It was painless. Do not hold on to any guilt. <sighs> okay. Tidal wave. Subfocus. A lot of water here. This also looks like water here as well. Getting water. And lots of birds communicating through you, through nature, seeing all the birds. hands okay you will not fail they are they got your back if you feel like you're gonna fail if you feel like they were helping you along and now they're gone no they're not gonna let you fail and even a failure is not a failure it's a learning lesson okay okay moving on I hope that resonated with you guys moving on to three six and nine so if you picked three six nine Photo night. We're gonna do the song first. Electric Love by Borns. Um okay. I can't play the whole song because I don't want to get a YouTube strike strike. Oh, interesting. Okay. Baby, your electric love. Okay, I'm getting uh, messages through electronics. That's what I'm getting. Look at solar powered, electricity, electronics. Um, I'm getting messages like through um, phones, through um, lights flickering, um, messages through electronics, emails, things that you see online that are too much to be coincidence. Um, oh, interesting. Every night my mind is running around her. Thunder's getting louder and louder. Baby, you're like lightning in a bottle. I can't let you go now that I got it. And all I need is to be struck by your electric love. Um, Drown me. You make my heart beat like the rain. Another song about drowning in a sense. But with this one I'm getting is electric love. Your electric love. Somebody was referenced as love. Okay. Um, and I, I got this earlier in a reading that I did. Um, the blue and the green of Archangel Raphael. That is the cosmic heart. <clears throat> that is the heart. That is the two hearts. So a lot of love. There was a lot of love here. But there was a lot of judgment. There's a lot of judgment. They want you to let go of judgment. 
and they send you signs through nature. So not only do they send it through electricity, but they also send you through nature. Okay. Let's go to the first one. I send you loving signs. Yes, that is me sending you signs of my love and presence. I learned how to do this from the angels and from our other loved ones who are here with me in heaven. Together, we send you reminders that you are cared for, watched over, and protected by us. We've sent you birds, dragonflies, butterflies, flowers, clouds, and rainbows. Each time you notice these signs, your body has given you confirmation of who sent them to you. I'm so glad that you're trusting the signs and your body signals. We are so connected. And that includes your connection through nature. I love you. Um, connection, solar power, electricity, connected. Um, I'm, I'm getting this image. Um, it's this artistic image and it, it's these two people that are standing in front of each other and they're transmitting energy through their hearts. This is the image that I'm getting. Electric love. Okay. And almost electric. I don't know what, uh, it could be electric when the, they use the paddles to revive somebody. Electric. Okay, and um, anytime I see the butterfly, I'm always thinking transformation, you know, transforming. So they want you to change. They want you to change this judgy behavior that you have going on right now. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to go with uh, judgment. Borns, electric love. We are all spirit. We are all the same. It's only the roles we have chosen to play here on earth that make us seem different. The biggest lesson you have chosen to learn is to love. There are so many situations in this physical dimension that it is possible to incarnate into. But the core lesson is to look past these illusions and see yourself in everyone. Each soul has chosen its own struggles and your task is not to judge how someone goes about overcoming these obstacles, but to assist that soul. Spirit has given you the tools of compassion and empathy to help you see through the eyes of those who appear different. Your ego has taught you that making other people feel insignificant or inferior will allow you to feel better about yourself. That is an illusion. By diminishing others, you diminish yourself. Always learn to follow the golden rule. I will treat others as I would like to be treated. Everyone in your life is here to teach you something about yourself. Accept the lesson with love and understanding. Yes. We're all constantly, you know, uh, sometimes judging others without even realizing it. it. You know, sometimes it's just subconscious. It's a subconscious feeling uh, in our heads, like, oh, rolling our eyes in our head or, you know, something like that. Like, that's what I'm getting. Judging, and this is also judging how others grieve. Judging how others grieve. Uh, feeling that maybe they're being overdramatic or maybe they're not grieving enough. Um, that feeling of judgment of how they're grieving. It's like, let that go. Everybody grieves differently. And, you know, yes, you know, some people may have not treated that person as kindly when they were alive. And so we judge the, their mourning process because well, who are they to mourn? They treated them like crap anyway. Doesn't matter they still had a part in their life and that does hurt. There, you know, grief is grief, whether it's resentment, whether it's regret, grief is grief in all forms. And it's, ask, it's asking you to let go of the judgment of how others grieve. Everybody grieves differently. Quit judging yourself as well. It's like, I have a feeling that you're judging yourself for all the things that could have been done differently. It's asking you to let that go. They love you. This is cosmic love. This is like goes beyond. This is love that goes beyond this dimension, this is past lives. This is like, it goes beyond this life. This is, this was love. Three, the Holy Trinity. This is um, when twins flame come together, they create this beautiful Trinity of love. So, number three, and that's about communication. They're communicating with you through science. Three is also communication. They're communicating with you. They're asking you to not be judgy. They're asking you to not judge yourself, judge your journey. You are amazing. Like, let all that go. They're sending you signs. Keep a, keep a sign journal. Keep a journal. Um, and it's interesting. Three and three. And um, yeah, they're communicating with you. Listen with your heart. Listen with your heart. So, solar power. 
here comes the sun. Clear, beautiful light is shining on everything right now. All you need unfolds easily before you. Decisions are, snap, are a snap as you pirouette into the ease of your own power, of your own unlimited connection to the universe. You can bask in this, knowing that light shines on everything you need to know today. Yes. You have this unlimited connection to the universe. And you have an unlimited connection to your loved one as well. And they are telling you, please communicate with me. Talk to me. Um, this came through in another reading. So I don't know if you guys all picked these readings. They've all been cohesive. They all followed a pattern. Like for some reason it was like one led to the other one, led to the other one. So I suggest watching all three if, you, if you're watching this one. Um, yeah. They want you to communicate. Um, put a photo out. Talk to them. They're there. They're listening. Just because you cannot see them, they are, they are there. Um, and I was just saying this in reading number two. I just did this yesterday because I lost my boyfriend. And it felt so good. I felt this intense relief of like, I don't know. I had just been feeling this intense energy the past week and it just decided to talk to him about it. And it felt really good. Like, I could feel his energy there giving me answers on what to do to help me move forward. And the messages they send you come in the, the form of thoughts and ideas and uh, aha moments. So journal them. And mine was an aha moment. Mine had me do a few things. And, um, and here I am making this video for you guys because that's how um, empowered I felt. So talk to them. And don't judge the life that they lived your life. I just have a feeling that judgment was key in something about this. Or there may be a judgment. Somebody is going to receive a judgment on this. Um, but yeah. Judgment. A solar powered car? <laughs> I don't know why that came through. Like a solar powered car? A hybrid? Looking into a hybrid? Or something about a hybrid car? Um, solar powered. And solar powered um, uh, houses? Solar powered um, homes? Um, what if you've been thinking about a solar powered home? Uh, this is yes. They're watching everything. They're watching everything. Whatever you're discussing, whatever you're talking about, whatever you're thinking about, they're listening. Um, and they're listening without judgment. Okay, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And um, I will see you guys next time. Namaste.